I am at a brand new park in Hillsboro called Arinka Woods Nature Park, and I'm with Patrick Doherty, who's really the stick man. He's the stick sculpture sculpturist that has done a project down at OSU and one at the Children's Museum. So thank you so much for coming back again. Uh, well, thank you for having me. This has been great. It's a nice park here, too. It is. And so really, you came here when there was nothing. They contacted you, and this park was really in its infancy. It was certainly under construction. There was a lot of dirt around, <laughs> and the buildings weren't finished. And we saw this line of trees that must have been here for some time, maybe part of the original orchard that was here. Wow. And so this that was magnetism. <laughs> we were drawn to these trees and decided to work in under them and try to figure out something that would give a, a feeling uh, to the people that came and visited. It is so neat because you can walk in between the heads here, the sculptures, but then you can see this canopy of fir trees. Is that something different for you to work with? I think it's really nice to work back on trees in a way. Uh, it focuses attention on them. In one way, um, there will appear to be kind of a series of columns with, between the things, and the bark is so thick and luxurious that I think that it will refocus your attention on the natural world in a way that uh, you just slip across normally. Yeah, and I think it makes us all little kids because we can discover it. It dwarfs us as adults, and so it must be like that for children too. I think these trees are a definite dwarf, dwarfing mechanism. You look up under them and they're just really tall and, and grand, you know, so maybe we bar, barred some of that grandeur. Mm-hmm, definitely. Uh, we, we decided that, uh, you know, at a point that uh, even though these face, they're kind of face mask caricatures, mm -hmm. they weren't just quite popping, so we decided they needed hats. So <laughs> you can see that we're working on a series of hats, kind of like the uh, big stone heads in Easter Island have, yes, definitely. have been enhanced by a little bit of a, <laughs> of a hat. Yeah, so and sometimes you do more structures that aren't human-like or aren't people-like, but these all have really great faces and great nose and eyes and mouth, so a little different again? I thought that uh, just tucking a kind of a bivouac up under these trees might not be enough interest, mm -hmm. that it needed a little bit of a human character mm. uh, to you know, give it a, a little bit more. So, uh, you know, faces looking out of trees um, or some kind of mask hung in the trees or, you know, might, might give a, a bit more value to the work. Oh, that is good. And I see there's so many people around here working with you. You always contact community people. There's so many people to come and help make this happen. Yes, you know, over in Corvallis, we used uh, basket makers to help us generally. Mm -hmm. uh, there were some student workers. Uh, down at the Children's Museum, we garnered mainly uh, folks that work there, mm. all of their workers came and helped. And uh, here we've uh, been using various uh, sources. Some of the parks people have come, metro people have come, and uh, a number of just uh, willing folks from the nearby community. Yeah, and I heard that one lady came from New Mexico to help. Yes, she she's, did. She's been yeah, like we, a volunteer follower of you. Well, that's just my, <laughs> my, my good fortune. Yeah, it is nice. It is nice. <laughs> Patrick, we met your son, so how is that different that you have him helping, um, helping you this time? Well, well I'm calling him my bridge. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with my retirement and being uh, older, but I've got a young man who can shift the scaffolding, <laughs> and we get along very well. We've been working uh, heavily together for years. He's helped me a lot on projects during during the summer now that he's graduated from college, you know, he needs money. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's a driving force, I would say. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> and so we have to ask the name because you always name these pieces. and They're always really whimsical kind of names that just enhance the sculpture. Well, when I fell in love, I fell head over heels. And so this is a piece we'll call it Head Over Heels. And I think it'll be... Uh, Good, not too heavy. Right, People right. People can just interpret it as light and lively. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> well, there's going to be a grand opening celebration, and the park is going to be open for all to enjoy. Really, you should Google where that is. Go to Garden Time and go to our website. We'll connect you to their website. Come out with your family. There's so much to do here, and enjoy a brand new park in our area. Patrick, thanks so much, and uh, hope to see you, you again. Thank you very much. Really nice it's seeing nice you to all. See you. Take care. You too.